Okay, welcome to today's video um, on the Roe versus Wade and sexual empowerment. I think I've been waiting a long time to have this conversation and it seems like the perfect time to have it. So get yourself comfortable and bring all your emotions, bring all the things that you're feeling about this on either side of the issue and let's kind of gnaw into this, okay? So we have a, an overturned 50-year court decision from the Supreme Court, which actually does not stop abortions from being legal, but rather returns that power to the individual states. So let's begin by just saying that if you live in the USA under this you know, and you're outraged, there are still safe zones in the US where you can have an abortion if you want. So there's that. Now some might argue, what if you aren't able to access it because you live in a different state and you, you know, don't have the financial means or whatever. And I think I'd like to also point out that lots of woke businesses are ready to fly anyone out to California, Oregon, or Washington in their new camaraderie to support this effort um, to retain this ability. But I think what this offers humanity, in especially uh, United States citizens, and especially women, but I'd like to speak to men and women because this does afford us an opportunity to look at personal sexual empowerment, something that we haven't really had to look at with so easy access to halt um, an unwanted pregnancy. So there hasn't been a lot um, needed. Of course, contraception is encouraged, but again, it kind of leaves it up to whether or not that works. And we've still been dancing around the issue of personal empowerment because contraception isn't really that empowering. It actually is still based on just covering up this idea that we don't feel like we have any control over our body and what happens, whether we get pregnant or not as women. Men sometimes just walk away and don't take responsibility um, or they bring a condom or whatever. Um, but I'd like to open the conversation up a little bit deeper and suggest that with life force management, and if this is the first time you're hearing that term, then maybe you want to watch some of my other videos, but I am going to go into it. Life force management simply means the ability to manage life force in your body. So life force is the force of our life, and it is the force of new life. So when we become pregnant, we have access life. The joining of a sperm and an egg is life. As soon as that happens, that's called life. That's life force creating a new life. So um, life force management would mean the energies which can create life and which sustain our own life. And in the sexual arena, orgasmic energy, that energy which contributes to the creation of a new being, I would like to say that that's not the only thing that energy can create. Life force energy is also creative energy in the form uh, that we use it all the time to create in our life. It's our kundalini. Our kundalini is life force and it, it, it runs through our entire body via the channel of the spine. And the if you are familiar with the chakra systems, the second chakra is our sexual chakra. And when we are engaged in sexual acts, our kundalini energy, our life force does tend to focus there. But with practice and education and understanding, um, men and women can learn to channel that life force energy so that it wouldn't create a baby if you didn't want to. And I have practiced this personally. I do have two beautiful boys that I love. I've also chosen to not have babies and I have had abortions which I actually regret having. But this is not a pro or against abortion talk. This is a pro responsibility talk, self-responsibility, because 
the most empowering thing that we can do. And our empowerment doesn't come from an outside structure. Our empowerment doesn't come from a government. It doesn't come from a doctor or medical system. It doesn't come from another person. Empowerment is a personal thing. And it is an awakening experience where we realize that we actually have more power within us than we ever were told. And maybe purposefully, and maybe just ignorantly, like our structures haven't been built to teach us how to be powerful people because that would, in effect, take the power away from external structures. For example, if you knew you had self-healing ability that would negate a certain structure, right, that's built to show up for you when you need healing. Now, not to say that it doesn't help in some cases where you can't do it yourself, but there is a lot of self-healing that can be done that isn't accessed because of lack of knowledge. So same in regards to our sexuality and to creating life or using that energy to create something else like strengthen our relationship or heal our body or you can channel sexual creative life force kundalini energy during the act of sex intentionally with your partner to utilize that energy for other things. You know, like I started to say, for strengthening your relationship, for the awakening of humanity, for peace, for um, specific tasks to increase abundance. Uh, and I have personally utilized this energy and I have taught others to do so. And it is effective and can be used throughout a woman's cycle, no matter what, no matter with contraception or not. And I back that up only with the statement that if both people are practiced in it um, and have the common intent. Now, you might say, what about when, you know, there is a non-consent issue, okay? Well, in that case, the non-consent issue means that both parties are not coming together on one page. So then the woman is the responsible party for what goes on in her body and she can she can know how to manage that herself. There is also um, another part of this conversation I'd like to bring in, and that is and part of empowerment is stepping away from victimization. Stepping away from the idea that we could ever be a victim. Now, if you've had terrible things happen to you, I have. You know, I've had to overcome things in my life too to get to this point. But the most empowering thing we can do is recognize that all situations are for us, even if we didn't think that we chose them consciously on a soul level, there was some reason, and it's probably I'm gonna suggest for your empowerment, if you've had to go through them, uh, that situation happened to empower you, to allow you to realize that everything can be for your good. Everything can be to uplift you and bring you into a stronger place, a more authentic place, a more powerful place in yourself. And so if that is the struggle or concern, um, so now we've covered, you can always go to another state. There are practices you can do to empower yourself with life force management. And if you need to understand what those are, I do have a book on Amazon called Create Your Life, Not Just Babies that is a little little guide or you can work with me personally on how to understand how to channel life force energy and I do work with couples and individuals on that and then number three to move away from victimization a lot of shadow work might need to be done in order to come to a place where you recognize everything is an empowerment project um, so there's many levels at which we can look at this, but I think this decision really just puts this empowerment piece back in the ball game. Like it hasn't needed to be there because there's just this easy out, right? But I'll tell you, that easy out almost killed me. And is dangerous. And especially the um, abortion pill, because it's non-supervised and you can bleed to death and I almost did so it was a horrific experience the girlfriend that was with me at the time she was so traumatized that I've never seen her again this was many years ago um, 
yeah so and of course after my experiences I have vowed that I realized that I was just in denial of my choices so it was better for me to accept my choices and deal with myself and if if it so happened that my practice you know I, I didn't take my practice of consciously intending into that act and then a baby did come then that was my responsibility to own that but this talk is to expose you to the idea that you can create with that sexual energy that kundalini life force energy and it doesn't have to be running on default or fear which is what the oh my god I might get pregnant program is for men and women there is like hanging in the background in the subconscious mind this socially culturally programmed idea that we don't have any control over this and you actually can you can align yourself with this energy you can co-create the life that you desire and so let this decision not be something that you are afraid of of more rights being taken away because truly they aren't they have actually been returned to their constitutional originality which is it's in the hands of the states and if you live in a state where that's not okay maybe it's um, time to look at what you've been doing on your personal empowerment project and do you need to empower yourself more so that you aren't afraid of that for yourself for your daughter um, what do you need to know to feel more empowered at this time I'm here to assist reach out if I can help and sending you so much love during this time I really feel like we are we've entered a, a really exciting powerful time of change where empowerment is returning to the individual and that's ours for the taking so don't let it seem like it's been taken away take it back